Hey there everyone, this is Alcow playing Banjo-Kazooie, as you could see here, we are done with Cloud Cuckoo Land, we do not have to return here, ever! And at the end of the last session, like, I espoused how the next step would be the temple world, right? Except... Pterodactylian is like, right there. So, I think it would be more logical to do Pterodactylian. I think that there's no more interaction with other worlds. Like, dumping the water to free dip- well, to, to, to feed- to quench Dippy was like the only remaining interaction from a previous level, I think. Like, I forgot about Dippy. I just knew that we were dumping water here for whatever reason. Let's see here. Four jiggies, let's see. So there's a dinosaur, there's the password, there's the eggs, and there's a cave. Now, okay. Uh, and hopefully these will lead to the last Jinjo and friend. Okay, so then this becomes a, in what order am I doing this? Um, if I could do... Oh, I think I... Okay, I need to find where Dippy is, actually, honestly. Uh, yeah, no, there's a lot suddenly going on. Um... So, how do I do this? There's a, uh, what is this cave again near the start? I do not remember, and I would like to know. If you were to tell me. Uh, is this a, okay, it's a railway, great. I can call the train, because we got a little child patiently waiting to be delivered to her mom. Yeah, that's right, to Grunty Industries. Uh, I absolutely would like Chuffy to pick me up. Except I'm not gonna go in, but at least not yet. If ever? No, no, we will. It's. I don't think it's a spoiler to say that the train will be used, especially if I summit here. Well, no, it's because there's a child in the in the in in the in the in the thing in the back. The wagon. I guess it would be called a wagon. Train station, Teradac, that is exactly where I am. Unbelievable. Alright, let's do the dinosaur. Then we can hear a Minji whistle. Very, very, very distracting. I've said this many times before. I wish you could just destroy them for real, forever. Don't worry, she is super angry. Alright, glad we have that taken care of. And of course, we'll be rewarded uh, later. We've been here before. There we go, running. Everyone's doing things. Thanks for turning the lost child. You know, she was just like afraid. She had regretted her deeds. And now she is punished. End of statement. <laughs> I don't know, man. So now I am going to try to remember where that cave is. Okay, so it's here. Ah. <laughs> I've kind of forgotten a lot of things about this place. This is why I, in, in the... Levels that followed, I was like, you know what, no, I need to minimize my contact with, with, with levels because I'm just gonna forget where everything is. Alright, so you're tiny, you are lost, and you're gone. You, I need to bring you somewhere. So get in here. <laughs> Alright, mom, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave with your child in my backpack. I hope that's not a problem. Uh, would you have a thought about this solution? I don't know. Uh, you probably might not even know why I'm doing this, but I mean, I'm gonna bring this guy to be sick. Uh, well, to be healed. He's the one that's sick, and my goal is to make him unsick. Wild, I'm aware. It's not gonna let me leave without rejoining with uh, Kazooie, isn't it? Alright, well, hey, get out of here. You even heard, like, a little ding. Did I ever saw that sign over here? What do you have to say? I don't know, I can't read, apparently. Oh, no, I want to read the sign. 
What? Putting you in this straw-filled train isn't going to heal you? Weird. No, okay, I cannot read while yellow is here. It's one of the laws of nature. Nothing you can do about it. I don't know why I'm trying- What? Wow, you don't even let me get on the train. Alright, oh, but you give me this at the very least. It's like you know. Yuh-huh, uh -huh, indeed, Banjo. All the yuh -huh. That summarizes my thought exactly. Alright, let's drive this into the ocean. Or, I guess, more specifically, to the Isle of Hag. Well, the icon is that grunty sister we've seen once or twice. Yeah, just the plot just isn't there. I, f I don't know if it's because Rare realized that in this game, this is a game where you just go around doing things. It's just having the plot be in the way, it would just be in the way. It would be too distracting. I don't know. Hey, it's that guy. It's like, way in the bottom. I love this pan over, it's really cool. Anyways, a thousand years ago, yeah, look at that. There's a mambo pad right there. There's a mambo hut, uh, over there, up the cliff. There we go. A little, you'd think that the long animation to load the train in, you know, would be used to hide the, uh, the loading time. But then, there's still loading time. <laughs> so weird. I, I don't know what's so hard about all of this to render for the old Super Nintendo. It's a tough one. Anyways, here's health. That's a clue to what's gonna happen. No, I... maybe. I wouldn't put too much meat into that, though. But me Oh, did I already, like, wake you up before? Okay. You want Mumbo's help again? I never used you this Mumbo. I mean, I'm assuming it's the same one and he just goes where I go. He just knows ahead of time how to get there. Either that or there's multiple Mumbo's. That's also possible. Maybe he used a uh, shamanistic, uh, you know, magic to make a few copies of himself so that he could be all over the place all the time. Anyways, let's cast levitate and crash this into the ocean. Oh, this works! Heal six Tyrakosaurus! This place exists only for this. For a fragment of a multi-step jiggy. I'm pretty sure... Oh, I don't know. No. I don't know. I'm not sure of anything. But, uh, yeah, this exists for that. This whole setup. I mean, I don't know, it, uh, I feel like I need to appreciate that they would go to this length. I think that's pretty good, honestly. It's just, ugh, this is so involved. <laughs> but, like, to what end? <laughs> Man, your attack is slow to come out. See here, I went here on the go button, the train, so that the train can leave the uh, Hala Ags and go back to Pterodactylan. I guess this should be on camera, technically speaking. It's... I don't know. I don't know. This, this Jiggy is kind of infamous for just being so involved for kind of an extremely limited payoff. Like, but still, you know, it's just, it's just, it's, it's three Jiggies in one. But you just get one. It's a weird one. It's like they had some ideas, but you know, they were just kind of like, you know, ide ki ideas kind of. And I'm like, ah, I feel real healthy now. So I'm going to run! Fantastic. I don't want to do the next step in the Stericosaurus family cave yet. Because I'm going, I want to be kind of somewhat efficient. So, uh, teach him not to wash his claws. Do they have claws? You got, like, toe, like, like, you know, elephant things. Elephant feet. I don't think they have claws. I don't know. Oh, there's healing in train. How nice of you, Chuffy. Yeah, I kind of, I'm trying to 
think about how to do this efficiently. And I think the efficient thing is to just kind of just put a page on this. Just kind of leave like this like this for now. And why don't we try a little bit of transformation? Outside her wigwam. What are we going to find? A mumbo pad, wild and ridiculous. Don't look at the drawing behind a wigwam. That's not... It's not a spoil. It's nothing. There's nothing there. All right, you gotta look inside here now. Uh, there could be something silly. There's purple haze. Uh, do did I give you your thing? Jump. Okay. Uh, I feel like my 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 methodology changed. Uh, at some point, I stopped just feeding things. Anyway, look at that. It's an adorable T-Rex. The model is really good, though. Baby T-Rex! Use control stick to move wild. And, uh, that's it. That's- that's it. You can move. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good move. You can jump. She doesn't say that. You can't duck. You can't attack. You can shove your face through a door that has your effigy, but nothing else, really. Alright, talk about a powerful move upgrade! Oh, but also you're friendly! I mean- oh. <laughs> you don't even know how to roar! I have two voices also, by the way, Mr. Stegosaurus. I'm gonna roar at you. Oh, or not. God damn it. So we got that. No, I'm trying to. There you go. I could not tell the difference. Like, they're kind of barely different. Still not good enough for this. I heard you ask for help, but I can't do much about it. Hey, check it out, I can jump- oh, what? Are you not friendly? Okay, no, you're just a roar guy, except also you'll run into me like a real jerk. Great! Okay, so like, I don't know, like, in a way I kinda get it, but also... It's just such a weird thing to have you unlock roaring. Anyway, once you can roar, the doors open up. You just roll over to the side like a dog. Dogs are known for rolling. Hey, here's a page. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I did it, I found it. Hey, and there's a sign. Roar, roar, roar! Roar, roar, roar! Then they see roar, 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 roar. So it's small, big, small. Small, big, big. SBS, SBB. I'm gonna forget. Alright, so, yeah. You remember the place that asked for the password of the something? Yeah, there you go. And now I just need to remember where that is. Ugh. Ugh, a beautiful game. We're beautiful people. Oh, this is that entrance. Yeah, way at the start. Okay. Why do you have access to here? Like, can you even do anything here? Uh... I don't think so. Whoops. Oh, you just sink. <laughs> Sweet! And you don't have air. Uh, let's po oh, hope someone put a ramp somewhere? Oh, you have to go out by... Okay, fair enough. Like, you go out by actually just leaving the whole area. The password was, like, somewhat up the mountain. Um, what I should do is warp to somewhere. Good call. Hey, do you have anything different to say? Okay, so they're all roaring teachers. It's not, um... You'd think, you know, it'd be a chance to have, like, a whole bunch of different intel, but I guess not. 
So the password was somewhere along the mountain, so I guess we'll walk around the mountain. And then... Yeah, see? Oh, because we can go in this door, too. Alright, I forgot that door was there. I, I, I kind of just... It's not the kind of thing I feel like I remember about, you know? It's just the weird little doors. Yes, now that thing is open and I could go there if I want. Oh, I think here's the shiny zone, right? No, it's a cave. That looks like every other cave. But we got a door. That's pretty good. There's no doors, though. This is... God damn it. Everything needs to stop looking like everything. Yeah, I don't need to do the platforming here because I solved this thing. Ah, oh, there we go. Here's the place, so... Ah! Uh, big. Small. Small. Big. I hope it doesn't mind that I'm... My head is like right in the cage. Oh, cool. The, only when the secret code of the dinosaur is heard. Am I? Is it because I was too close? Let's try again. Did I get it wrong? Oh, it's small, small, big. How did I? How did I mix it up? I don't know. Sorry about that. I had the right amounts, but they were not placed correctly, so... Small. Small. Big. Small. Big and big. We did it! We roared at a gate and a jiggy has opened itself. Video games, you know it! And sadly, I think that's kind of it for Mr. Tiny Dino here. The smallest T-Rex in all the world. Man, after editing, I probably have like five seconds of video. No, there's a lot of walking around with the train and stuff. But still uh, kind of not all that much. So we're gonna go ahead and play a little bit longer. Let's do Mambo stuff. Like, I've already used Mambo's ability once to make some platforms out on the swamp. Uh, but he's gonna do other things as soon as I can find a warp. Because there's a warp, like, right in front of Mambo's house. They kind of tend to do that on purpose. Like, it's just, it's just smart, really, to do that. Let's be real. For her. Really? Why do they make you go all the way around? Maybe they don't. Maybe they don't. They totally do! They force you to go all the way around because you need to go up there. There's a mumbo pad with a dinosaur family. But you, you have to walk all around. Uh, alright. Alright, well, since this is on my way, I might as well use it here. Remember what the spell is. I've used it in this world before. And that's right. We're gonna make this tent bigger. There you go. Whoop. I hope she doesn't mind that I've messed with the metaphysics of her entire everything. Probably not, right? They only hate each other. <laughs> But yeah, this is on the way since, you know, I have to go all the way around here. I need to make sure I don't fall off somehow. So I need to go here on this tiny platform. This is the only way to go. So they use Mumbo as uh, an excuse to just have just really weird platforming, I feel like. I mean, it's neat having to navigate your space like that, but... Where is the pad? I know I've unearthed the pad here. I mean, one of the dinosaurs is small. Like, what else, what else is gonna do? Here you go. Enlarge! 
Oh, this work. Good thing you got this Mundo pad uh, installed right here in your lair, Stericosaurus. Otherwise, uh, I mean, I don't even know how that problem happens. How does your child, like, how, 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 how does it happen? How does your child get minuscule one day out of the blue? He's the blue one, too. Can't thank you enough! This one shiny thing they acquired. Uh, that's right, they <laughs> stomped it off a guy. <laughs> that's kind of, it's kind of rude. Uh, all right, we did it. So yeah, this one jiggy just has like three activities associated with it. Why? That's just how it is, man. You know, sometimes the jiggy is just a bit more involved and uh, live with it. And it's fine, I guess. Oh, I feel like having played it today, it didn't feel all that bad. Um, but it is a bit disproportionate, I feel like. Like, it still is. There's no feeling here. Oh, it's me. Whoa, now when this is me, I changed me. So, you probably have an idea about what is going to happen here, right? Because, you know, we'll transform into a dinosaur, but, you know, it was proportionate to our size. I mean, this place is huge. I guess it's proportionate to the puddle size. I guess there would be some sense to that. But here we go! Big dino, yeah! Flail around! Uh, it's this daddy T-Rex. Use control stick to move and B to make much noise. Uh, make some noise. Uh, clap your hands. Uh, all right, there you go. Unfortunately, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. What you get to do as this thing is somewhat disappointing. You get to press this switch, it's pretty good. Oh boy, Ejinjo, I am very excited. Look at my trepidation. Oh, you can't just get in there, you have to retransform? Why, game? Okay, well, we'll do that later. I don't know how tight it is. This game just... Also, yeah, it's gonna save having to transform and retransform and non-transform. It's not just that we have to do. There's another thing we have to do. I just need to remember where. There's a place where there's a caveman. And you make much noise! Uh, there you go. That guy is, did not like that. He has to change his underwear. And there you go. I have showcases both use of Daddy T-Rex. Like, isn't that just kind of vaguely disappointing? Like, the whole map is kind of a weird to navigate. Like, everything has to be so large and expansive to, you know, be able to navigate, let you navigate with this huge creature. And he's literally just that. He's two keys. It's so disappointing. I mean, okay, what could you do with massive T-Rex? I don't know. Honestly, like, I, I don't know what it is you could do realistically. But still, you, you would expect, you would, I don't know, man. Like, I feel like child me was expecting some dino rumbling of some kind, right? I don't think that's too ridiculous to expect, but he barely can fit in there. It's pretty good. Ugh, I, I still, to this day. Okay, I'm glad that the timer stops as my shapes wiggle out, and I'd go, whoa, all the way here. Then the timer resumes. It's very polite of the magical switch mechanism that work within the confines of reality. I don't know, I'm just saying words. Here we go, little Jinjo, I'm going to say, okay, it turns out you have a lot of time. Whoa, and then we get a jiggy for the Red Jinjo family! Yes, I did the celebratory flip. All right, so, uh, that's done. I, I'm gonna go towards the cave that I just unlocked. Because now we got the eggs left. We got... Um... What I call, like, whatever's gonna happen inside that cave. And is that gonna be it? I think, like, the cave that I just unlocked. No, this is just... It's... I, I can't... I never know where anything is. 
Okay, so that's the train station. Next to that is this ramp. Okay, and this is where I spooked the guy. Okay, so this is where we're going. So yeah, there's this cave. And uh, Terry's egg and there's one. So we are basically absolutely finishing Pterodactyland next time. Turns out there wasn't all that much left to do. But I did come back once to do more stomping ground things. So, uh, you know, you know, you know. Two hours, like, that would be... I don't know how long it's gonna take. I forget. The cave is a bit involved, actually, now that I think about it. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're gonna finish tomorrow, but yeah, it will be that. Uh, we will not be seeping into other places.